Hi, my name is Adrienne Jones and I am the STEMI coordinator for Providence. Uh, I have been here now for going on 29 years. I did 25 years in the emergency department, so some of you might actually know who I am. And we are in the St. Vincent's Emergency Ambulance Bay. And this is where the ambulances come and bring the STEMI and stroke patients to the emergency department. Of course, we love what you guys do and we're so happy that you bring patients to us. I know at some hospitals, they go directly to the cath lab, but for Providence, we stop in the emergency department for hopefully less than 15 to 20 minutes, and um, then we go to the cath lab. Hi, I'm Gail. I'm one of the cath lab nurses here at Providence St. Vincent's. We are so thankful that you bring us patients every day, and we love when you bring us patients. And I'm here to show you what one of our cath labs looks like. And we're gonna take you to our primary STEMI room. And this is our cath lab room one. There we go. Cath labs are, are interesting places. So the cardiovascular lab at St. Vincent's is a dual purpose lab in that we take care of people having heart attacks. We also take care of people having um, what we call interventional radiology problems, which means strokes, um, GI bleeds, um, anything other than hearts that have a vessel involved with them. I'm Jason Walmuth. Uh, I'm uh, an interventional cardiologist at uh, Providence uh, Medical System uh, in Portland, Oregon. I work at uh, Providence St. Vincent's and Providence Portland Medical Center. And so basically our, the initial step of what we do uh, is the diagnostic step where we go in and we actually take real-time x-ray pictures. And then once we have that information, we can do additional diagnostic tests to determine the severity of blockages. Uh, or we can also uh, go and do interventions uh, to help relieve some of those blockages. People usually end up in the cath lab when they have uh, uh, blockages or at least a high degree of concern for blockages in the heart arteries. And so what we do is we uh, go into the arteries, uh, usually in the arm or the leg, and pass a catheter, which is a little tube, uh, that goes up to the top of the heart and we point it into the heart arteries. That's our little miracle. We get to fix stuff. We Someone's coming in and they're having chest pain and they're they're writhing in, in abject misery or they can't move and we do what we do and they get better. What an amazing thing. They're such an important part for us. The ability to quickly assess these patients, gather information and make a judgment uh, and get us involved early uh, is absolutely critical. So I see heart care and stroke care as a continuum and we really appreciate the level of skill and finesse that they have out in the field knowing that it translates to the outcomes that we have. What the work that they do out in the field is so important to the work that we do here and it's really a combination team effort so we really appreciate all the work that they do.